Hello, Warrior Cat fans, fans and followers. It is Minnow Heart. So, today we are going to talk about. Well, right now I am rereading um, Blue Star's Prophecy. Um. And also, not only am I rereading, re I mean, reading that, I am also reading Tall Star's Revenge, which in my last video short, um, it was about Tall Star's Revenge, and um, this is Blue Star's Prophecy. I'm rereading it for the second time. I am on chapter. Uh, what chapter am I on? Where is it? Uh, that's blue color, or error. Okay. Man, I'm somewhere around chapter 5, 6, maybe. And in Tall Star's Revenge, I am chapter... Um, oh, yes, I am on chapter 20-something. Anyways, we are going to talk about Tall Star's Revenge. So, what I wanted to say about this book is that I love... I love I love this book so far. It's so interesting, and it's always got a new a new story, a new mystery. It's awesome. I don't want to spoil, but Tallstar always seemed so happy, and and calm, and a wise leader, which he definitely one hundred thousand percent was. But he had um. He actually struggled with his life before, um, before he became leader. He, as you know, in my last video, I, I literally just copied off of this part and just put it into a video. Um, if you, he struggled, as you know, he left Wind Clan and he tried to find another path. Um, but that didn't go well for him and he is now back and he has a very good life now and one of the things that made me really sad um sorry if i spoil if uh, i will write the title will i will put a little bit of spoil so if you haven't read tall stars revenge then don't watch this video um it made me sad when i read um because there's this kit named Hopkit, and he was, as you know, I don't know if you know how he got a crooked foot, but he had an infection by stepping on a stone, and it basically inflated his foot, and, or deflated, I don't know. It, it made the infection spread through his body, and he almost died, um... And it was really sad, so his foot is numb, no feeling, he can limp on it. But then when he was an apprentice, I thought, well, I know, his warrior name is Deadfoot, so somehow he must get the name with dead in it. Um, and he did. When he was an apprentice, he was named Deadpaw, and he totally didn't care. He was just happy that he could be with his siblings and play and just do everything that they can do he has to learn a little bit differently but other than that he's actually really he's getting along really good and i hope that he has better luck in the future when with his training but yeah i just think that because i don't know if you know how blue star when she was kind of a little bit cuckoo um <laughs> She, when she went crazy, sorry, I should have put it as crazy, um, she actually, she named, um, Brightheart, I don't know if you remember Brightheart, but the one that got attacked by, um, dogs, well, actually, it's her and Swiftpaw's fault, so, um, yeah, how they did that, um, and she's named Lostface for her warrior name, which I don't think that they should do that. Um, I don't think that they should do that just based on what happened to them or what their history was. I think that they should just keep their name, which was good after Fireheart became leader and he, you know, just changed it. Um, yeah, like, 
So I'm glad that she turned out to be Brightheart. She deserves that name. Yes. Um, yeah. So, now, eh, gotta get up. I haven't done a Worry Cat video in a while because I've been focused on Glee. I did a few videos on Glee, but today it is Warrior Cats. Um, yeah, so it's pretty good. And it's just going to be an interesting video. Well, it's over, but yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, follow for more, um, for more Warrior Cat and Dog and Cat videos. Um, it will mostly just be Warrior Cats for a while, cause, well, yeah. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, and just to let you know on the Warrior Cats app, um, or the Warrior Cats website, WarriorCatsWW.com, I think. Um, they have a new book out, Leopard Stars Honor, and you can also go onto their store and find plushies, minifigures, mini action figures, um, bookmarks, backpacks, mugs, all sorts of stuff, keychains, journals, so yeah, I'll check out their website.